Hello everyone, Jose Gregorio here. In this video, I have more tips and tricks using the iPhone XS, And I believe this time there is an update uh, that came out about four days ago or so, and I haven't downloaded it yet on my iPhone. So let's uh, tap on uh, settings here and let's update um, the iPhone XS. So let's uh, tap on software update. Looks like, uh, yeah, there is an, another update at 12.4. So let's uh, update this iPhone uh, first. All right, I'm gonna tap on download and install. All right, the iPhone XS has been updated. Now let's take a look at some other cool features hidden within the iPhone. To do that, let's tap on settings. And here in settings, Here in settings, I'm going to turn on dark mode. And dark mode can be a very useful feature when reading text messages or reading on very harsh lighting conditions, such as sunny, a very sunny day. So let's um, tap on general. And here in general, let's, let's, do, let's tap on accessibility and display accommodations and let's turn on invert colors and here when we turn on invert colors brings the option to turn dark mode and we can turn dark mode by turning on a smart invert or classic invert for the sake of this video, I'm going to turn on a smart invert. And when I do that, the screen will become dark because dark mode will be turned on. So let's turn dark mode on. And that's how you turn on uh, dark mode. Now let's go back to the home screen. And there is also another way that you can access dark mode by just tapping three times the side button like so and you can see here that the screen uh, changes color because dark mode is turned on by tapping three times on this side button now let's mm, turn off dark mode by doing three taps again the screen goes back to its normal color now Let's, let's go back to settings once again. And I'm going to go back and I'm, let's see here in general. I'm going to accessibility in this time. All right, uh, now let's go back to accessibility again. And this time let's, let's turn on a home button. As we all know that this uh, iPhone XS, it doesn't have an actual home button, but a home button can be turned on by going to settings and finding assistive touch. So assistive touch by default is turned off. So this time I'm going to turn on so I can bring up the home button here at the bottom of the screen where the home, actual home button is on previous iPhones. So let's um, turn on assistive touch. And when I do that, the home button will pop up here at the bottom of the screen. And there you have it. That's how you turn on assistive touch by going to settings and finding assistive touch for the home button. Now let's go back to the home screen and let's tap on the home button. And when I tap on the home button, it brings up the control center where we can access custom notification Siri and home. Let's mm, tap on Siri and... Hey Siri, what's the weather like in New York tonight? Here's the weather for New York, New York tonight. 
All right, thank you. And that's how you access the home button by going to settings and following the steps that I just showed you. Now, another tip that I'm going to share with you is when taking screenshots. The screenshots, mm, we all take screenshots and when we do that, uh, let's, I'm going to take a screenshot. And by tapping and holding on that screenshot, brings the option to send it right away and share it with the world because when we take screenshots anyways we want to send it to someone and i thought that it was fair to share with you guys this uh, very uh, cool option all right and that's it for this video and i hope you guys learned something today and if you did don't forget to share like give a thumbs up don't forget to turn on that notification bell so when I release a new video you guys will be notified and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and until the next thank you guys for watching